Hi, I'm Mr. Lineweber, and this is section 4.3, Multiplying and Dividing Rational Expressions in Math 30-2. All right, so we've been simplifying rational expressions, and now we're going to introduce two operations, multiplication and division. And so it's just like when you're multiplying and dividing fractions um, for regular numbers. Uh, you're going to have the same rules applying, and so we'll go through this. Uh, remember that factoring is a key process. Okay, remember to keep the lead coefficient positive. That's the old negative trick. And don't forget to state the non permissible values. Now, when you're multiplying, there's no issues, but when you're dividing, you're going to end up in a situation where after you reciprocate the second fraction, there could be a new restriction to consider. Not always, uh, but sometimes there will be okay so when I uh, I'll put a star beside that situation when it comes up so just like in previous uh, math courses and understandings you've had before when you're multiplying fractions you simply just go straight across a times C and straight across the denominator B times D and you end up with this scenario again B and D are not allowed to be zero Division of fractions is complex and difficult to understand, so instead of dividing, we'll multiply. And so instead of dividing, when we multiply, all you have to do is switch C over D to D over C, and that will be um, consistent because division and multiplication are related. So again, when you flip uh, the second term, when you reciprocate the second term, take a look at what's the denominator at the beginning, so B and D. So right away you're like, B and D, not allowed to be zero. But once you bring this C down below, now C is in the denominator and we introduce a new NPV. So be careful of that. All right, so multiplying fractions. You just go top to top, bottom to bottom. So 5 times 4 is 20. 8 times 15 is 120. And then this will reduce to 1 over 6. And again, you can do all that in your calculator. You don't have to do any of that in your head. Just make sure that if you're going to be dividing uh, in the calculator, you could use brackets like this. That will work. And then you want to go math uh, into fraction and then convert to a lowest terms fraction. So go math, enter, enter on your Texas Instruments calculator. Okay, so when they introduce variables, you simply multiply across. So you got 4x squared, y squared on top of... 3 times 8 is 24x squared y. Now we're going to simplify this using uh, some exponent laws and just regular old division. So 4 divided by 24 is going to be 1 over 6. That's 4 over 24, 1 over 6. The x squared is actually just cancel completely because they're identical. And then y squared versus y, you're going to be left with 1y in the denominator. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, y over 6. And then I have to put a comma with the condition that, of course, x and y are not allowed to be 0 because you can see right here that they have two factors in the denominator where they're attached to a monomial by themselves here. x and y in a monomial can't be 0. Okay, so in a question like this, you see now there's binomials involved. Whenever there's binomials involved, you're going to have to factor. This is the key skill that's involved in this entire unit. So in the top left, you're going to see um, an easy GCF factor. Now, I'll just bring up the point. If you don't factor it, then you're going to be multiplying in like this, and you're going to be getting really large numbers like... 27x cubed and 63x squared. We don't want to go that route because the numbers just get too large and it's too difficult. 
Try to keep things simple by factoring any binomials first. Looks like I can take out a 3x and I'll be left with through I'll be left with x plus 3 multiplied by 7x and then that's the numerator and the denominator I didn't touch because there's no factoring involved. Now you just multiply across so we'll have this 7x and this 3x because they're both monomials you can just combine them that's 21x squared and the 14x will go under that the x plus 3 goes right across from it and the x plus 3 goes right across from it in the denominator as well alright so we merge these two that's the 21 and then this just got pushed to the right because we always want our coefficients combined out to the left this was on its own, this was on its own, and when we multiply it's straight across, straight across, so now we have it. The monomials, they need to simplify further. So 21 on 14, those both divide by 7 and you get 3 over 2. And then finally x squared versus x, you're going to be left with an x up top. These cancel. So this is your final answer, 3x over 2 as long as you have the non-permissible values. So from this term, x not allowed to be 0. And from this term, x not allowed to be the opposite of plus 3, negative 3. <laughs> All right, this question here is probably as difficult as they come for 30-2. You can see that there's three terms that involve binomials. So all three of those have to get factored. Moreover, this term here, it has a negative lead coefficient. So when we factor these three binomials, this one here, we're going to have to take out a negative to make sure this all works out. Okay. So let's uh, factor the top left. We're going to get a 3x coming out and you'll be left with 2x minus 1. Let's factor the bottom left. Taking out a 7x squared, you'll be left with x minus 6. Okay, top right, I'm going to factor out a negative 14 and I'm just going to wrap that in brackets here uh, just to remind you that it's all multiplication. And when I take out a minus 14, I'll be left with uh, negative 6 plus x. Now, I'm going to reorder that. So I get x minus 6. And on the bottom there, you don't touch it, 8x cubed. Okay, so let's clean this up a bit. Now, if you had trouble with this uh, part of the factoring, you may want to go back and review some of the videos on the negative trick. Okay, so let's put all our binomials together. Let's put all our monomials together. So it looks like we got a 2x minus 1, an x minus 6 in the top, and an x minus 6 in the bottom. Now as far as the monomials go, uh, one strategy that you can employ is the highlighter. Just highlight any of the monomials. And remember that all of those have to go together and simplify together. So that's what I'll show you. That's all going to end up in this area to the left of the binomials. Okay, so here we go. I got a 3x and a negative 14. And on the bottom I have a 7x squared and a 8x cubed. So focusing on the blue highlight, you in your calculator you can just go 3 times minus 14 divided by in a bracket 7 times 8 and you will get the coefficient in lowest terms if you hit math enter enter and convert that to a lowest terms fraction and it's going to be in this case negative 3 over 4. Now if you look at the x 
in the top and x in the bottom, there is 1 up top and 5 in the bottom. So 1 versus 5, you're going to be left with x to the 4 in the denominator. Now, switching gears to the binomials, you can see that the x minus 6 is actually going to cancel, and so you'll be left with a 2x minus 1 up top. Comma, x is not allowed to be 0 and 6. Okay, so these ones are here for your extra practice. And now we can move into division. So division, you follow these steps. It's going to be the exact same as multiplication, except for that third step there, we're going to be multiplying by the reciprocal of the divisor. So it's pretty much the same stuff. We just have that initial step. So looks like I need to factor the bottom left and the bottom right. So I'm going to get x minus 5 over taking out a 3x, I'm left with x minus 3, divide, taking out a 6, I'm left with x minus 3. Okay, so that was the first step, factor, any binomials. Now the second step, we're going to change the division sign and multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so we got x minus 5 over 3x, x minus 3, multiplied by 6, x minus 3 over 5. All right, so here we go. Now we'll just use the steps for multiplication. So we're going to get all the binomials off to the right. So I got an x minus 5, I got an x minus 3, and an x minus 3 in the denominator. You might want to highlight the monomials. I find that that helps. Okay, so it looks like we have a 6 on top of a 3 times 5 is 15x. So that's the blue highlight there. That was just the monomials going together and merging. And then further simplification is necessary. So 6 over 15 is going to reduce to 2 over 5, as they're both divisible by 3. The x has to stay because nothing cancelled with it. And now these x minus 3s will cancel, and you'll have an x minus 5 left up top. Comma, x not allowed to be 0 and 3. And one important thing to note is like even if a term cancels, you still still have to include the NPV include even if it's not um, even if it's cancelled okay so we'll do one more here and then those try on your owns are for you so this one's a little bit more complex you can see that there's three terms that need factoring so I always just write out this equation, um, or pardon me, the expression. With division in the first step, all I'm doing is going to factor. So in the bottom left term, I can take out a 4w. And when I take out 4w, I'll be left with 6 plus w. I could have reordered that to w plus 6, um, but whatever. Top right looks like I can take out a 6w, and I'll be left with w minus 1. And bottom right, I can take out a 9w squared, and I'll be left with w plus 6. Now I'm going to switch my divide to a times which means I need to reciprocate the second term. So just rewrite everything. Just flipped. Leave the first term. There I'll reorder the w plus 6. 
So I just reordered the W plus 6. It's the same thing. All right, now I'd like to highlight all of my monomials because they're all going to go together. And then the binomials can get kicked off to the side. Okay, so we got W plus 6 up top, and on the bottom we have a W plus 6 and a W minus 1. Okay, highlighted monomials in the top, 2 times 9 and w, w squared. So this is going to be 18 w cubed over 4 times 6 w, w. That's going to be 24 w squared. And we can now simplify that blue highlight one more time. Final answer 18 over 24 is going to be 3 quarters. And w3 over w2 is going to leave you with a w up top. And then as far as the binomials go, those ones will cancel. You're left with a W minus 1 in the denominator. And now we'll write the non-permissible values. So I'm just going to scan my work, take a look for any uh, variables in the denominator. Okay, so here is a W in the monomial. Same as here. W in the monomial. So that means W not allowed to be 0, comma. Now let's look at the binomials. Here, W not allowed to be negative 6. Oh, in both cases. So W is not allowed to be negative 6. Now what happened when I changed division to times is I had to reciprocate these two terms. So I ended up with a W minus 1 in the denominator, which was a new NPV. So I now have to include that one there, positive 1. And so that's pretty crucial, is remembering that when you flip it, you might get a new NPV. Alright, those try on your owns are for you, and there is more uh, questions on the next page.